In this video, I'm going to show you a defense that you might consider running a little bit more of in Madden 22. I'm also going to talk today about an ability that you might want to consider uh, running as well in Madden 22. It's not as good as it was in Madden 21, but it is still very valuable. And I want to talk about the ability in this video. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, in this video, what we're gonna talk about is the one step ahead ability and how you can actually leverage a defense building around the one step ahead ability. And also I'm gonna talk about the deep route KO. What you wanna do is you wanna stack one step ahead and deep route KO. It's gonna help your main coverage play significantly better. And we're gonna illustrate this by using Jalen Ramsey who has uh, one step ahead and we're going to run him against a route tech which is going to be Devonte adams and then i'm also going to kind of complete this with a coverage scheme out of the cover one robber and the nickel 335 wide all right guys so what we're going to do is with this is we're just going to illustrate this with just some basic routes um, that we're able to get out of this formation so i'm going to go ahead and grab flood i'm going to grab uh, smash return i'm going to grab z spot if i can find it and then we're going to come out in the play verticals now defensively, we're in the 46 playbook. We're gonna be talking about the cover one robber out of the three through five wide. Obviously you guys know I like to audible down from three through five normal into three through five wide. It allows me to get safeties at the linebacker position and allows me to be able to cross man those defenders on anyone that I want on the field. Now we do have a full ebook on this in the 46 uh, defensive ebook. If you wanna get access to that, all you gotta do is join my Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month. And the cool part about it is it's not just gonna give you access to one ebook. It actually is gonna give you access to over 20 complete Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks covering different formations on offense, different formations on defense, different styles of play. Um, and all of that stuff and the real really cool part about it is you get all of it for just ten dollars a month And you get access to any updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active We pretty much release new updates in the patreon every single week uh, with new material that you can digest I just put a brand new defense in there. Uh, I think this last week So if you want to check that out again, it's all in the patreon for just ten bucks a month all right, guys, let's take a look at this man coverage out of, and, and really we're going to try to highlight a couple things with this. So if you think about Madden 22, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball, one step ahead and deep route KO. So what one step ahead is going to do, and this is important to illustrate. So you're going to see here I have Devontae Adams at the outside wide receiver, and I'm going to run him on a skinny post, okay? So we're just going to run him on a basic skinny post. And then over here, we're going to run like a Z spot type of concept uh, just to illustrate the the route to Adams. Now, from an adjustments perspective, we want to go to cover one robber. What I like to do out of this is go ahead and press. But what you can also do is you can shade your coverage outside and over the top. So you can see they're outside and over the top. We're going to take both of our safeties and we're going to put them in purples. And then we're going to man up that man up that middle linebacker on the or the linebacker on the right on the tight end. So you see, this is kind of what the defense looks like. And then I'm just going to use her here to make sure we don't get shedded. We're going to spy these guys, but we would generally rush through. So if you watch Adams here on the left, what you're going to notice is his route tech is is not going to light up, and you're going to see that Ramsey's going to be able to drive on the route and be able to play it like he would a normal wide receiver. You also might notice that Jalen Ramsey's ability doesn't light up either. So like he, his one step ahead didn't light up and the Adams or his route tech didn't light up either. Okay. Now what's important to understand with that is that this is going to change. Let's say if Devonte Adams was, um, you know, in the slot, for example. So let's say that Adams was running here and we put another guy out there. So we got it like this and then we'll just come out in the play verticals. So now Adams is over here on a crossing route, and if I were to run the same defense, just shade it up, cover one robber, and then safeties and purples. If you take a look at this, what you're gonna notice is Devonte Adams, his route tech ability will light up, and he'll get a little bit of separation on the sideline. It actually played really, really well, and that's what shaded Shaded over top main coverage to me is really really good. Um, it's really safe. You can press 
if you want to, but I find that the shaded up variation of this um, is really, really, really good, especially shaded outside and over top, and I'll show you that real quick. But again here, so let's say we run Adams on a corner route, and this he has route tech, by the way. I mean, this is a good route running ability. And what you'll see here is he doesn't really get separation. He doesn't get the separation that you might think he would because of the shading outside and over top. So on a corner route, he doesn't get that great of separation. On a crossing route, um, he also did not get that great of separation. We'll show you the crossing route one more time, and then we'll talk about Jalen Ramsey's ability and, and kind of you know carve out this defense. So what you're going to see here, now this time he does get really good separation and is able to win over the middle. Now again, your user's in that area, so it's not like your user's not going to know to go guard that. But if you look at a from like a dice roll perspective, this is what I was saying. Like we would we would have one step ahead in the slot, and so that would help with that certainly. Um, you would have a one step ahead defender in that position, so his route tech ability would not light up. And I'll come back to that in just a second. But we'll show it one more time here. You see route tech. See how he can get bumped off sometimes. I mean here he does get separation, but it's not like super clean. Okay. So now what I want to do is come back to the left side and show what happens with, against a one-step-ahead player if they don't have a route-running ability, which a lot of people, honestly, they're not very many people have three route-running abilities. A lot of people have two, uh, but not very many people have three, okay? So anyways, this is against just a regular receiver, and what you're going to see is I'm going to go to, let's see, let's, let's go to this place, Smash Return. And then we'll just do something like this. And what you'll notice here is your dig is played pretty well. Okay, so the one step ahead lights up. He's going to activate on that route, and he plays it fairly well over the middle of the field. Let me show that one more time. So again, we're just going to go cover one robber, put both safeties in purples. You can shade up if you want to. It does certainly help. Just from a they can't beat me over the top perspective. And then if we go to the play smash return, what you're gonna notice, see how it lights up, basically runs around right in the area to make a knockout or make a catch or make an acrobat pick. So he plays it really well. And again, your user's in the middle of the field with this defense. So you know you, you have the ability to lurk, stuff like that. But now what I wanted to do is shift Jalen Ramsey to the slot because those are some of the, the best routes in the game are to the slot receiver. And again, talk about and highlight what happens, you know, kind of against the slot um, on some of the key routes that they're going to be running. So let's say they run, you know, the, the Z spot and go. And once you shoot, whoops, sorry, I forgot to auto down the man. Let me actually come out in verticals too, by the way. But the beauty of this is you basically are going to put the offense in a position where they're it, it, ideally, if you you can have three one step aheads and three deep route KOs for a man coverage defense, that's going to use up most. I think all of your AP. Um, but what you want to do is get man to man archetype corners. So like Dallas Cowboys theme team, Patriots theme team, even the Rams theme team to a degree has a lot of man, man archetype corners. So you get corners like that, and then you're able to you're able to um, put one step ahead on for cheap. Okay. But anyways, let's take a look at this uh, animation here. So this is your crosser. You'll see doesn't light up. And now see how Ramsey's able to drive on the route and put that in a real tough position. I mean, that's a, that's a tight throw. It's a window, but it's a tight window, okay? And then uh, we'll show Z spot and go. Now, uh, we did get him in the zone here, but we'll show it anyway. So this is Z spot and go, because I think it's double me that he has. So Z spot and go. If you watch here... They don't light up, and he doesn't get separation. See that? So that's really the beauty of the of the one step ahead. And then when you combine a deep route KO. Now, let's say, for example, you get a matchup. So let's say, so now what this really comes down to is it's going to be these two guys against the tight end and the running back, really, if you think about it. Um, now, you do have zones that you can you know kind of use to contain the running back. But if you think about it, your average tight end can he get separation against man-to-man, -man, especially out of like a bunch set? Well, what you're going to see here, this is the smash return play that everybody likes, and you see we play it pretty well. Not perfectly, but pretty well. So the reality is 
they're going to be in a position where they're probably not going to have the route running abilities to be able to consistently burn you. And I mean by what I mean by burn you is like for one play scores, right? So the beauty of this is too, and you can do this out of Mike Blood Zero as well. Um, you just purple the linebackers and leave the safeties in man to man. I like cover one robber just because it gives us a better chance to maybe even potentially press out of this. Um, and then of course we know how good that the uh, the purples from safeties are going to play. But what you'll see here, this is a little out route to the back. Doesn't always get separation. That's all I wanted to show. And then you see, and your lurk is going to be in the middle of the field. So you're looking for slants. You're looking for, not even necessarily slants, but you're looking for all that stuff. And then certain situations, you can drop those purples to 10. You can drop those purples to 5. You can drop those purples to 30 yards. It's just depending on the situation. So this little defense right here, I think, has a lot of value. And I actually run a similar variation of this out of the match defense. Um, and then I kind of use this as well in certain situations. So those are two plays that you might consider. A lot of people that run bunch will tell you that if you go to this formation, let me show you. So like if you're getting a lot of man coverage, a lot of times they're going to go to bunch strong. Um, so if I go to PA bunch shot here, and basically they're going to try to hit this skinny post over the top, you'll notice here that it's not really that. You see it doesn't really win now if they have a route tech or a deep out or a short out and you don't have a one step then yeah it's going to win but if you have a one step and a deep route ko you put yourself in a pretty good spot to at least be able to contend with some of the big stuff in man coverage and then with your user and your zone drops you can kind of manipulate and change things also i think this is a great defense that you can merge with match coverage and then of course you can still play so there's no reason you can't you just don't have acrobat but um to me, this is a really, really good defense. You can also play zone and man up. You have three defenders that you can man up and play man coverage in certain situations. So let's say, for example, um, this is one of my favorite coverages, uh, but we'll go to like a cover two or something, and we'll put this linebacker in a vertical hook, and we'll man this guy up on the, on the slot. So now all I need to worry about in terms of the vertical is if the – or the – if that guy on the left runs a vertical route. And so now I've got one step ahead in the slot, manned up against this guy. It's gonna make it hard for some of those deep routes. And then you see here, I can kind of lurk everything else and not everything else is gonna be able to beat your standard zones. So to me, this is a really simple defense, but it can really work well formation to formation. Um, it just puts your best cover players. The cool part about cover one robber and why I suggest cover one robber is because if they, it's, it's gonna put your best co coverage players in coverage uh, like your best three against their best three so like let's say for example they audible to like a trips tight end set what you'll notice with cover one robber is they'll move so you get your three one steps on three receivers and then over here you do have to i mean you certainly have to have a plan for how you're going to defend this because this is a problem what i would recommend doing honestly is you maybe even potentially using this guy um but you can, I mean, you can, honestly, I mean, there's so much you could do. You could go three wreck here. You're going to put this guy in the purple. Um, you know, this guy's on the back for a wheel. Normally the back doesn't go out and trips tight in. Um, and then you have a purple over there to kind of hang with the corner route. You know, so you can kind of build the coverage for the formation. But as you see, these one steps and you got good cover players against good receivers, it makes the window so much tighter and it's gonna allow you to have the ability to blitz off of this as well. So like if I want to send pressure, I just have to blitz my linebackers and then I can man up just like in Mike Blitz 3. But now I have the illusion that it's cover one robber. So they send everybody out and around and then I'm sending five and we're getting really good pressure. So really simple defense, but I think something that's really, really effective, little man coverage scheme out of three through five wide. I do think it is best out of three through five wide because you can only have three one step um, and deep route KOs and you need one step and deep route KO and so what this does is you're going to always put your best three players on their best three receivers and then you're going to basically make them beat you with the tight end and the running back which you've got you've got um, five other players to help you defend them so thanks for watching the video I hope it was helpful and if you have any if you if you want to learn more about the defense uh, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon for only 15 or uh, $10 a month. I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to be able to get access to everything, all the ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks, and any new ebooks that we release going forward. We do have a ton of stuff in the kitty. 
ready to release to you. So really excited to kind of pump out some of that, some of those extra eBooks that I've been working on behind the scenes over the course of the next week or so. We've got a brand new defense we're going to be dropping next week, which is going to be really, really good as well. So thanks for watching. And again, if you want to get the, all this, all of the offenses and defenses, you can join the Patreon for just $10 a month and get unlimited access to everything that we have over there.